My name is Rose Bertram and in this video I'm going to be giving you a couple of tips and bits of advice about traveling. Tip number one, luggage. I would say my first bit of advice is to um, invest in really good luggage like and all sorts of different types of luggage too. Like this one right here, this is just a regular old duffel bag, um, like a weekend trip or maybe a few days, you know, if you really don't want to take that much stuff. This one right here, this bag is, I would say, mostly for um, maybe week long or a couple weeks, like for spring break or um, wherever you're going that you're allowed to take a bit of luggage, you know, take a bit more than just for a weekend. Maybe you're going to a place where you need lots of different outfits like for swimming or for skiing or something like that. And then, this is for very rare purposes, I think, like if you're moving. Like I have this giant Swiss Army, <laughs> giant um, suitcase. Tip number two, the tourism office. One thing I recommend doing if you're visiting a new country or city that you've never been to is visiting the tourism office. I know it just, it sounds really lame, you know, like you want to be adventurous and explore things without having to, you know, realize what you're doing, I guess. But it's, I think, really helpful because you get information on different deals, like if you can figure out where to get a student discount or you can buy a collective ticket for like five museums for a fraction of the price, or you can figure out how to work the bus system. I mean, you can figure out so many new, like, good things about the city. You can get for maps and brochures. I mean, even just a 10 minute look around to see if there's anything that interests you, I completely recommend. Because you might realize that there's something really cool in the city that you never would have realized before. Another thing that you can figure out when you're at the tourism office is if they have a hop on, hop off bus tour. It's an excellent, bus tour, I think. Um, not all cities have it, but the cities that do have it, it's a great idea. What it is, is it's a tour bus that goes all the way around the city, you know, but it stops at different, like, hot spots, I guess. Um, and what you're able to do is you can just get off at those hot spots and tour around for as long as you'd like. And then you can just get back on the bus whenever it loops around again. It's a great idea. You could probably tour the entire city for a couple days just on these hop on, hop off bus tour passes. So that's an excellent idea. And you get to know the layout of the city a lot better too. Tip number three, culture. Another thing I recommend is doing at least one event that immerses you into the culture. Like if the country you're going, if you're going to a country that is known for like ballet or something. I would recommend going to a ballet, or if you're like going to Hawaii, go to a luau, you know? I know sometimes these things are a little bit too overly touristy. Sometimes it kind of takes away from the experience, but if you can find something really authentic, that would be a great thing to go to. It also gives you a better cultural experience with the place you're going to. And that concludes my video. Thank you for watching and bon voyage.